This video is brought to you by the MTG Tutor, where good players get better. Hey guys, MTG Noob here. Um, this hand looks very, very loose. But it has all my mana and a burn spell that I can play on turn one. So I'm going to keep it and just keep fingers crossed that I don't actually have to <laughs> play against it. In fact, um, that sucks. Yep. All right, well, we go for it now or else we pay for it later. We're not completely weak to this matchup, but this hand is just pretty poor, especially if he drops an Ink Moth Nexus here. Hey, look at that. It's like I can predict the future. Wow, double bonfire off the top. Could there be worse draws in life? The answer is yes. Uh, I'm going to name Dryad here. Actually, you know, that was stupid. Let's name Wizard. Make him think we have a snappy doodle dandy. That's what I call Snapcaster when I want to sound very extra happy. <laughs> Alright, so Dryad is going to sit here and just block for days, hopefully. This is going to be an insane problem for us. It's like Jung Park, why would you ever draw an Ink Moth Nexus? Alright, he's dropping Wild Defiance here. So he's going to animate this and just kill us, most likely. <laughs> you are late, sir. I think it's more important to have blue. Uh, this is just, I this is just bad. It's, life doesn't matter. It sounds so suicidal. It's like life doesn't matter, man. It does matter. I think I'm just like super happy because of the fact that when you play against Infect and you're recording, it's just like. Oh, yes, this match is going to be short, it's going to be quick, and it's going to be hard-hitting and awesome. So, we're sitting here, this is going to dominate us, this game. There's no, nothing we can do about that. Corruptor, okay. I guess he wants to play defensively? Or not. That's interesting. Hmm. Silly gut shot being silly. I obviously can't. I just can't win here. Um, he's just going to make this gigantic. He does have two cards, though. I can only slag for one, regardless. Or not slag, bonfire for one. I think I'm just going to have to do that, unfortunately. just to pump my dryad here. You would think bonfires would never be bad, but according to this plan, they're terrible. So he could hit us for five and one pump spell's gonna do us. So I'm gonna lead this in. Oh, I think I just bonfired for zero. That's fun. <laughs> I think I broke Moto. Oh man, I'm, I'm pretty sure I bonfired for zero uh, since there's two mana in my mana pool. But the thing was, it's not the end of the world because the bonfire was just to get the counter up here anyway. Like I wasn't going to be able to kill this anyway. Okay, so he responds with a mutagenic growth, making his guy gigantic. I have a feeling he has not played poison much. Okay, so we'll let that resolve, and then we're just going to bonfire for zero. Now, this may seem terrible, but I want to just take no poison damage. So, maybe it looks like I'm some sort of cool, weird guy or something, but, you know, a misplay followed up by another misplay. Oh, boo you with your Cathedral of War. That was kind of lame. I was gonna it was gonna survive with this. Alright, well we're gonna block first. And then we'll trade out here, but this is gonna be almost 
impossible to kill. We have no main deck artifact ain't. So at least we'll attempt to soak up some poison here. We'll put him to 14. And he'll get that back. And that'll be honest. We're doing pretty good. We have no poison. Just he's got the sick game plan against us. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna go for this here. Try to pillar him down to 12. Like a sad little man that I am. You know what we do need? Vapor snags. If we had vapor snags, we would just be like, awesome. Pillar your face, because I can't kill your guys. Kill me. There I go again. No suicide notes. You guys will never know why I did it. Alright, but we put a dude down. This is coming in for five this turn. And outside of us having a Vapor Snag, we're just toast. Now, the reason I played the land there last time, it's like, you should hold up a bluff, etc., etc. Is that a double Rancor? What a douche. Not him, just having two Rancors is like way douchier than one. But I want to be able to... This land being tapped is just awful. Man, if only I had a mental misstep. And could mental misstep one of those Rancors. Oh, Mana Leak? That's not bad. I'm still dead. But at least we put up, put up a, slight, a slight fight. We're so leaking that second Rancor, even though he's killing us anyway. But we're going to do it. You don't even need to do it. But I have a feeling it's going to be done anyway. Yep, there it is. Oh, blowout. Yeah, now what are you going to do when you kill me anyway? So he uh, forgets to attack. <laughs> and then we can put him to 8. <laughs> we do have, we have Taurins in the deck, but they're in the sideboard. Don't tell anybody. Uh, I didn't forget to attack. Okay. Alright, so... Things happen post-board, which I would say are pretty good, is that we get missteps. We get pillars. We get grudges for those pesky ink moth nexuses next eye. Life's not really that good um, in this sense. I definitely want tolerance versus hunt masters. And we need to cut eight cards. I'm not really huge on arc trail. It's kind of like it leaves you um, in blowout city. We need a way to win, but we also want to just hang in there. I'm gonna cut these six cards, draw it, and images. I'd rather have the instant spells. Kinda want all of these. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I wish I had more. Alright, I'm gonna cut a probe. I'll cut two probes. That might be wrong. Just let me know if that's wrong. That's in fact. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this hand. I'm going to just dig for land here. And I'm going to hope he does not misstep this. Because if he does, I'm just super tight and screwed. Um, Snapcaster. Gorge Harbor. No. Draw that. Then we'll draw the Gorge next turn. We have a whole bunch of early action against them. Okay, I'm just going to misstep everything I can misstep. He might misstep back, but I'd rather it be dead than be in play. Like, you might be saying, well, you could have just gut shotted it there, which is a million percent true. But if he sticks it and then has a mutagenic growth, he just saves it. I could have, you know, mutagenic growth things. I'm just... Hmm. Yeah, I'm leaking that. 
I mean, it seems I'm, I'm just like all over the place. Um, I could have then mental missed up the mutagenic growth, but then if he had another one, I'm just screwed. I'm going to get rid of that because that's just annoying to me. <laughs> as stupid as that sounds. And I will be hopefully killing this here, leaving open our green mana. Oh, that's fun. I love when people have Wild Defiance and I can't counter it. All right, I guess I should have. This card just blows me out, but is what it is. Silly Apostle's Blessing is going to kill me so bad. Delver, say go. Yeah, this, I kind of feel like this deck wants a naturalize effect, even as one of, because it's just so hard to beat this card, and there's other things that make it hard to beat. Okay, so now we lose here since I tapped out for Delver. Um, so I think I'm actually going to just take this here. And then try to pop it at end step. Because then if he has a pump effect there, then is what it is. Okay, we're going to let this happen. And man, he is all in. Well, now I can no longer wait for that end end of turn thing because I'm just going to die. Oh well, that was just poorly played. Not not good. And he just shot his load all over the floor you gotta save the Apostle's Blessing. I feel like I'm at a huge disadvantage if he has if he's a more experienced in fact player. He seems like he's slightly new, um, which is fine. I mean, pff, I'm the MTG noob. I'm new all the time. But you gotta save that up there. And now this is basically what he's all in on. Which is fine. Let's flip this Delver like a mofo. Oh yes, and now we're racing, and there's just nothing to do about it, because we have so much hate here against him. Okay, he didn't play a land here, which is unfortunate. Oh, why would he do that? I guess he wants me to grudge it? That's so weird. Alright. We're going to time walk him here. And then if he tries to protect it, I'm going to grudge it. Now, I can also Snapcaster here to put him on a two turn clock but I really don't like that play because I wanna have Vapor snag up with my snapcaster for when he goes and animates it to block here um, I don't wanna ponder and miss so I'm just gonna go in and go with that line of that okay, he's just taking it. Okay, so he's gonna dismember, and the best I can do with that is allow that to happen. And now I can put him to one. I am gonna choose to ponder here. And now I could just kill him. But it's just going to take a little bit. So he's very limited in what he could do here. So, like, he has to have 
everything here. He has to have like titanic growth. And if he does, I just ancient grudge his guy. Which I'll do. Um, let's gut shot him. He's like no longer able to misstep. I had him dead last turn. I'm an idiot. Sorry guys. This is the MTG noob here and I'm an idiot. <laughs> Which now I will gut shot him again and then gut shot him from hand. Okay, so yeah. Alright, so now we're on the draw and a lot of things become much, much worse in our hand. Like so many bad things. Like, leaks are pretty awful on the draw against an aggro deck, but I don't really think I can take them out. And there's not much I want to put in instead of leaks. The only thing I'm considering, stupid as it is, is bringing these back in because they make, like, blockers and really just cutting the probes. But I can't, I can't like, I just feel dirty doing that. I just feel like, ew, gross, what are you doing? But... Because probe lets you know it's coming, but most of the time if it's coming, you can't do crap about it anyway. Alright, we're going to run with this. We cut all probes. You can yell at me and be like, Tolerance sucks now because you lost four free spells, and you don't know the information that's coming. And your mana base is going to be terrible because you don't have early card draw. Oh my god, I'm scaring the crap out of myself. Alright, alright, I put the probes back in. <laughs> You're right. I mean, these guys make blockers, but the... No, you know what? Screw it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to my convictions, sort of, if I can outrace this. Delver might be just terrible. Okay, we're back, and we have an interesting hand here. He mulls to six, and I'm going to not mull, because I can counter things and ponder, and I have a Talrand. So, I'm like super happy. I'm definitely countering whatever he plays on one. That's what I'm doing. Ugh, stop drawing a f effing bonfire. Alright, well, we're going to ponder here. If Bonfire was a bomb, shut the hell up, Bonfire. Okay, I'm going to definitely keep this. Um, hmm, this is interesting, actually, because I can't play this. But you know what? At least I can set up a Delver. Okay, and we got Misstep up. And I think we can actually play Delver next turn, even though I, like, super want to. Because if he sticks Wild Defiance, this match is going to be much harder. So I can... Alright, we know Ancient Grudge is coming. He had to keep a Wild Defiance hand. You know what? I could always set up Delver next turn. That's fine. As terrible as that sounds. Okay, so you get two lands. I even want to leak that. Now, you know what? That does absolutely nothing. Feel free, buddy. Spell skate away. I can just smash with Ancient Grudge. Eventually, if I draw lands and spells and, and stuff. And if not, I'm just going to play Tolerant next turn and just... Go ape poop on him. Naming Vizard, I believe. I believe I shall name Vizard. I'll misstep that. We'll keep this buddy alive. I mean, if he. If, that might have been very well played by him. Because I was just like, duh, auto misstep. But I think we're in a good spot here. I think I leaked that. I think we're in a position where if he nails Wild Defiance with no infect guys, I don't really give a crap. 
and eventually we're going to keep my fingers crossed and draw a red source. Show it off. Show it. Reveal that something. the hell just happened? Did he change the reveal target? WTF. Alright, now I have an option here. Um, first I'm going to bash because I don't know if he's even going to block. I think he snap blocks, but you always want to test people. See, there, when there's no consequence to you. Like, if he pays for mutagenic growth and buffs this, then okay, that's fine. Like, I don't care if he kills my Delver because of the fact that my Delver is then, it's, it's okay, it's dead. But the thing is, I, I drew out a pump spell from his hand. All right, now I have two options here. One is to lay that. I think I'm just going to play my towel around here. Because currently in this game, we win by resolving this and keeping this alive. If he has dismember here, it's gonna happen. But next turn, we could play this. Maybe we'll flip it over. Now that's a dismember. Okay, that's fine. Cause he's still killing himself to kill my guys, which I'm a big fan of. Oh, a rancor. That's like so unsexy. If you want to beat me down with that, please, oh my god, please feel free. I will take normal damage from you all day. I will do jumping jacks with normal damage. Come on, reveal. I made the card larger so we could reveal something spicy. Stop changing the target. It does not work. Okay, I said that doesn't work. Let him know. So this way he doesn't waste four more life in future games. Okay, give me a quick pause. Thanks. Okay, so we have this ponder, mana leak. I'm going to just take the leak. And I'll put the... Ponder on top, we'll ponder again. And then we'll see all of our wonderful things. We want this last, and this, and this. And now play our gorge. Bash in for three. And eventually we should be able to cinch up a win here. Okay, whatever this is, it's getting leaked. And we should be able to take this game shortly. Okay. Put him to five, four. We can't pillar him just yet. So we're going to wait here and probably kill this end step. Jeez, he just has not drawn any land. I could have probably bonfired for one there. Let's try to kill this now. He'll get the Rancor back, and I have a feeling.